Hello guys, all classic gamer am. Uh, great news. I got a Jack and Dexter trilogy. Now I know I said I will do an unboxing video, but as you can see this is already open because when I met the guy he just gave me the game like this. He had to unbox it itself. Because he wanted to try out does the game works or not. Because he didn't want to sell something that's not that doesn't work. So uh, you cannot, you couldn't see my unboxing video because I didn't even unbox it myself. Now let's let, look at the cover. Classic Sage D. That's the that's the most genius idea Sony ever got releasing um, in classics in HD. That's something that Microsoft uh, should do as well. Maybe some Xbox games are not on the backwards compatibility list, perhaps. Oh well, so this cover is. Uh, it looks nice. We have Naughty Dog logo. Compatible 3D glasses, Sony logo, but there is one particular thing I don't like. The rating logo. It sucks. I hate Peggy, and I repeat, I fucking hate Peggy. They always rate games on wrong way. Games should never, and I repeat, never be rated with numbers. Okay, we have we have the Australian ratings. They are G. P G M and M A and that's that's good. That's that's good. Then we have the the Japanese. I don't know all the letters, but it's something with letters, no numbers. And we have the best rating system ever. ESRB. Simple as that. We have E, E ten, uh, teen and M. And that's good because this game is rated teen in America, and uh, Peggy give it a 12. 12 years is not even teen, and it's stupid. Why, why, why do we have rating numbers? It's discriminative as fuck. For, exam for example, if, we, if someone bu bought a sports game or any game that doesn't have any violence or something, yeah, the sports games doesn't have violence, so it will be rated 3 by Peggy. And it's so stupid to have the game with number three. Or if you if you buy some friendly platformer with not violence and uh, stuff, it's going to be probably seven or three. And it's also stupid because when I, someone see you with that game, they're gonna start laughing and saying you're playing the game for kids. But if you if the ESRB, they are much smarter. They they advertise a lot better. Instead of giving a number rating. They just give it E. E means everyone. So that means that's that's awesome because then when you got a game, no one can make fun of that because it's E for everyone. Also, they had the best. There, there was a rating uh, that's called K K to E K to A. That's kids to adults. That's that was the best rating. I don't know why they get rid of that and replace it with E. Kids to adults is the best rating ever. Crash Bandicoot even had that rating, and that's awesome. That's okay. That's for front cover. Now we have here Dynamic Duo Returns. Well, it's not really a return because those are just three remaster games that we played, but this should be written in Jack Four. Oh well, if we ever see Jack Four, uh, so this is just some stuff from the creators of Crash Bandicoot and Uncharted. Yeah, they mentioned Crash Bandicoot. It's um, great. I actually would like to see the HD remastered collection of Crash Bandicoot. I know it's not PS2 game, that it's a PS1, but still, they can upgrade it and uh, the game. Conquer Live and Reloaded was upgraded and it was an N64 game. So why not? We have that. We have a manual. Oh, they're advertising Russian and Clank all for one. I might get this again. I might get this game now. This guy, when I got this game, it's much, they're much cheaper and stuff. So I probably, I'll probably use Limundo for for future original games. It's the best way to buy the original games a little cheaper. Okay, fuck this page. Oh, and one more thing. I noticed something funny. Bad language. They said that this game has bad language. Since when do they have bad language? I never did they ever say fuck shit or stuff like that? No, they didn't. It's uh it, the game is rated teen because of the violence, but they never used bad language. What what the fuck is with that? 
Shit. Peggy, you're disgusting. They never use bad language. Okay, we have... Um, we have some story. This is only nine pages manual. It's really short, and they are like... Um, I don't know, nine chapters, and the controls and stuff. That's good, the manual, but... But, I don't know. I don't use manuals that much, so... Let's just... Um, Put the manual back and try out the game. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. Oh, before we try it out, that I'm very proud. I have to say, I'm very proud of Naughty Dog. I mean, I didn't expect them to release this. I thought I forgot about the franchise completely, but this shows that they still care about it. And if this game sells well, well, I'm probably they're probably gonna make. Jack 4 one day. I mean, I mean, Sucker Punch got smart and uh, they're making uh, now Sly 4 with Sans Drew games as well. Well, may it, it will probably be a good game, but I'm not a big fan of Sans Drew games. Oh well, that's it for the cover now. Let's try the game. Okay, I'm now at the training level, but Something is uh, weird. I don't know where to activate that map. The screenshot, uh, it clearly stated that you have a map here. Come on, focus. Yes, you see, this is a first jack. Second and third. They all appear to have a map. So how to activate the map in the first one? Hmm, that's weird. Oh well. I guess I'll just play. Okay, I'm gonna play this game, it's so awesome. With map or without map, I'm playing it. Graphics are awesome. It's like, uh, it's like a PS3. Awesome. So, thanks guys for watching, I'm gonna play some Precursor's Legacy.